Looked at. And the payoff pitch is lined left field and deep. Tank is moving back. He's looking up. Say goodbye. That ball is gone. Luke Williams with his fourth home run of the season has given the Thrashers a 2-1 lead here in the third inning. No score in the bottom of the third as Parkinson works to Oliva. Doesn't have a hit in this series, but he's a top 10 hitter in the league. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three on the fastball. He struck out Oliva on a slider to start this inning. The 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Adam chasing a slider off the outer part of the plate. And Valerio down on strikes. Back-to-back -back K's for Adonis Medina. That's a different answer as the pitch is belted in the air to left field. Moving back, Dickerson, he looks up, and that ball is gone. Michael Franco on a 3-0 pitch deposits a two-run home run onto that boardwalk in left field. Two more on the board for the Phillies. It's 4 to nothing here in the fourth. Runner at third in the first pitch. Swung on and a fly to center. Garcia moving back. It's over her head. And Akata will score the tying run. Into second, Iori Miura with an RBI double. We're knotted up in one. Bottom of the seven, two outs, bases loaded. The pitch swung on a miss, strike three, and Korea wins it. Nine to eight is your final two. A huge strikeout for Rock Young Kim. But there are two outs. The pitch swing and a liner toward right. That's down for a base hit. It'll score Kojima and Nakata. A two-run single for Iori Miura. She has knocked in three tonight. The one-two on its way. Swing and a line drive right field. Moving back, Nakata jumps and makes the catch. First pitch from Cologne is swung on and grounded to short. Up with it, Feliciano. Throw to second for one. Maldonado is throw to first in time for the double play. 6-4-3 it goes, and Puerto Rico wins it. Puerto Rico winners today, 16 to one is your final as they get the twin killing to end this ball game. I'm here with Thresher's catcher, Edgar Cabral. Coming off a lengthy road trip, a lot of games affected due to the weather the last couple of weeks. How do you go about maintaining your routine with so many fluctuations in the schedule? What's your full pitch repertoire look like? And is there anything specific that you've been working on? Uh, I'm just a fastball, changeup, slider, curveball guy. Uh, me and Brian Sweeney last year in Lakewood, uh, he taught me a new slider, so I've been sticking with that, and it's been working pretty well for me. So something to get a little bit better at, but it's working pretty well for me right now. How much did you go to that last night? Uh, pretty often. Now, we've seen you go the opposite way quite a bit, quite proficiently this season. Is showing some of your power to the pole side something that you consciously are working on? Coach, you mentioned that premier matchup tonight, Shane McClanahan for USF, and you guys with Tim Cade on the hill. Coming off a bit of a tough outing his last time out, but not the case tonight. 11 strikeouts in five innings for the lefty Tim Cade in the start. What did you like from him this evening? A couple of surprises of returnees on the roster, most notably Alexis Rivero, who was here a couple of years ago. Jeff Singer, who was an all-star in the league last year. What do they need to do back here in Clearwater? What are you hoping to see them accomplish? Now, you, of course, came up through the Philly system. You were here in Clearwater in 2014. But in the meantime, you made your major league debut in 2016. What was your favorite part of that experience up with the Phillies? And finally, over the weekend, you had the pitch clock violation called on you. I know you've never played in a league with the pitch clock before, so how much of an adjustment is that having to deal with that here in the FSL? How far is it? Home to second. I'd say probably just a little bit over 120 feet. All right. So. Further than people realize. All right. Let's, let's see. See if you got it. Two hops, not bad. Can you tell us a little bit more about the one seam? That's not something that everybody throws. So how did you begin throwing that and entering that into your repertoire? Of eight strikeout performance in the wind yesterday. You had five of your strikeouts looking on the fastball. What were you doing to set guys up for that pitch? Now, lastly, during spring training, you had a chance to get into a big league game with the Phillies down in Bradenton in a game where they're playing the Pirates this spring. Now, how cool was that experience, first of all, just getting into that game, and second, going in as a first baseman? Yeah, um, funny story. Um, I didn't have a first baseman's glove. And I actually hit a walk-off home run against Luke in Little League, so I don't know if he remembers that, but I do. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Welcome to Spectrum Field. I'm Thresher's broadcaster, Kirsten Carbach. And as we get set for today's first pitch, let's first take a look at the rules of our ballpark. Then it's Dollar Tuesday presented by Regions Bank. 
Hot dogs, popcorn, peanuts, ice cream sandwiches, 16 ounce sodas, and 12 ounce draft beers all are available on Tuesdays for just $1. And don't forget, when you get your tickets at the Baycare box office on Tuesday, berm seats are also available for only $1. Saturday, it's Star Wars night. Come out to the ballpark early for photo opportunities and mingle with your favorite characters from the 501st Legion. It all begins on Thursday, May 10th on Taps and Tacos Night presented by Tijuana Flats where all beverages in the ballpark are half price. Then we'll go back in time. Break out your best 70s threads on Friday. We've got a costume contest with fabulous prizes and a post-game concert by Disco Inferno. Always keep your eyes on the action and look out for foul balls and broken bats. If you or anyone around you does need assistance, contact the nearest usher or visit the first aid station located behind section 106. Help us strike out breast cancer on Friday, July 20th. It's our 13th annual Pitch for Pink. The 2018 inductee will be announced and displayed on August 25th right here at Spectrum Field. Tickets are available now at phillies.com and at the Baycare box office at Spectrum Field. For the Threshers Broadcast Network, I'm Kirsten Carbach.